In today's video, I will show you an easy way to post on Pinterest. You will see how I do it on my desktop and on a mobile phone, and I will also show you how you can schedule your pins in advance. So let's start with creating pins on a desktop computer. Usually here you will see this create button, and let's start with just a regular pin. And here in this window, usually you can either upload an image or a video, you can choose. And the format, if it's a video, has to be MP4 file. For videos, the recommended length of the, vi of the video on Pinterest is around 6 to 15 seconds, not longer than this. But let's start with an image. So I have an image like this. I have also here a video. If I just click here in Canva to play, it plays all together. But I'll show you all the options what we can do here. First, we need to save the first page. From here, it's the, an image. I will select the format in Canva a PNG. PNG is a high quality image. I need the first slide over here and I'll click download. Okay, the image here is over here in my browser. I'll just drag and drop it here. Um, you'll see a little frame on Pinterest and it's typical, especially lately, it's been working this way. Don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong with your pin. As long as your pin is bigger than 1000 by 1500 pixels, you're good to go. Now we need to add a title and a description over here and here will be the destination link. I'm gonna copy all of this from my site. You have here an alt tag, uh, so you can add here something or you can just skip it, but you can add something that just describes with the main focus keyword what is on your pin. So I'd say here idea pin tutorial and we have here the destination link. Another thing that you can do here, you can add some tag, you can tag some products or some pins from your account. So in, in my case, since I'm, I don't have an e-commerce store, I can only add some pins. I will search for something related to Pinterest, maybe some of my checklists or some tutorials that I have, Canva tutorial, you see some of the pins that are the most relevant to what I'm trying to show in this pin and I'll click save. Done. So now you see that they show up here, all these products that I added. I could, I could have added a lot more if I wanted to. Now I have to choose the most relevant board. So I'm going to search for something that starts with Pinterest. Okay. Pinterest tips. I'll click publish and let's have a look at this pin that we just created. I'm going to click see your pin and open it in the next tab. So here you go. This is what we have. And if I scroll a little bit lower, you'll see all these products that I tagged here. Now users can click on my title of the pin and they'll go to my blog post. Another thing that I wanted to mention here is that if you click here on this uh, left top corner, you'll have a plus icon that adds even more pins to the same window, which makes it easier for you if you want to save several different um, designs of your pin and let's say you want to link them to the same page. Um, I just would mention here that if you do so, you can use the same titles and descriptions. It is better to actually experiment and add some different keywords to your titles and descriptions, but you can actually copy and paste and that's what it makes it easier when you have it in, in one window. But also another thing I want to mention here is that we don't want to save um, different pins with the same destination link too many times very quickly in a short period of time. So we want to use here the publish at a later date uh, option, which is a Pinterest native scheduler. It allows you to schedule up to two weeks in advance. So it's not a huge um, interval. Actually, it's recommended to have about seven days of an interval. So basically you would be able to save, I would say like maximum two or to the max, if you stretch to the max, maybe like three pins, one today, another in seven days, and then another one on 13th day. So that was for saving an image pin. Now we're back to Canva and I want to save a video pin. So I'm going to select the MP3, uh, MP4 format. I will choose the third slide where I had the video and we're going to download this video here. Now I'm dropping the file over here. It's just five seconds, which is perfect. Uh, Pinterest recommends them to keep very short. You want to follow this recommendation because you don't want users to stay for a long time on Pinterest. You want them to go to your site, correct? So we're going to keep videos short. Uh, here you will add the same title and description. You can always copy the same ones that you had for your image pins. Now you can add an alt text. As I said, it's not, not required, but you can add it. 
Then you can add some tags and in this case we need to search for something relevant to our pin. So in this case I will search for something related to Pinterest. There is unfortunately not many options over here uh, specifically for this topic. Uh, you will find that for more generic topics and broad topics you will find a lot more uh, tags over here. But for in my case I just can use social networks I guess, maybe blogging. I could search for something like social media. Let's see what we'll find. Okay, I could take anything like social media and um, you will start adding these tags so that you can help Pinterest algorithm quickly understand what your video pin is about. And then you will add your destination link and let's see what we will get when once I submit everything here. Now, because this video pin is going to be linked to the same page uh, URL on my site, I want to give it an interval of about seven days. So I'm going to schedule this pin for about a week later. And here I can select different time. Uh, I know that my audience is in the United States, so it would be around night for my time zone. So that's how I can schedule pins on Pinterest. And then I'll just click publish. So you see here it shows uh, a warning that the, this pin will be published later. Now, if you're wondering where you can find all of your scheduled pins, you can go to your Pinterest profile and the very first thing that should show up, show up if you have any scheduled pins, it's them. So you'll just click here and you'll see all the scheduled pins and including this pin that I just scheduled scheduled right now. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to create idea pins on desktop. So we'll go here to create, create idea pin, create new. I'll have to upload here my creatives. For idea pins I recommend you to start with a short video pin, something like the video that I just created uh, for, for this um, blog post. So you want to have your uh, folder with the files open somewhere on your computer so you can just drag and drop the files over here. This is the video I created earlier. You can see we can just play it and that's the video we have. It's just five seconds. Now I will drag and drop here the image created for the second slide of my idea pin. And this is how my slides will look. I, I want to emphasize that I want to put the video first and then the image and that is because this way we will get more attention, more eyeballs on our pin once people see it in the feed on Pinterest because the video is moving, the image is static. Uh, right here you can still change a lot of things. You can jump between the slides and add some text. If, you're, um, if you still have enough space for adding some text you can do it. In this case I could add something like best practices. Um, you can do the same with your second slide but in my case I already have a, a lot of text on the second slide. So I'm just gonna click next and here you have a choice to add some different text as your idea pin title. And actually I'm gonna use the title of my blog post. I prefer to use it for the, for the sake of having a lot, a lot of keywords over here. I will select the right board. I'm gonna search for Pinterest related board. Now you have a field for text similar to video pins. So I'm gonna search something related to Pinterest and the match tags are blogging and affiliate marketing. So I'm gonna go with blogging. You can add more details for your idea pins depending on your niche. So if you are in food niche, you might want to add here the ingredients for your recipe. If you are in DIY, you might want to add some supplies. Notes are more generic for everyone, anyone and everyone. Like in this case, I could just copy and paste the instructions uh, for creating idea pins right from my blog post. I believe it can help you a little bit with SEO and can help your idea pins get found for the correct, for the right keywords. Now you don't need to go to these advanced options because they're not even related to the content of your idea pin. So here is how idea pin will look. We just have two slides and I want to emphasize that two slides is better than a lot more slides because we want users to get to this window as soon as possible so they can follow your Pinterest profile. Now let's take a look at how you will be creating a pin if you are on a mobile device. So you have to be logged in into your Pinterest app and let me just show you here at the bottom of the screen over here you have this um, arrow, you have this plus icon that's where you need to click to start creating a pin. So you'll click on a pin and let's select one of my, I already have in my gallery, you have to have the thing that you want to upload on Pinterest right there in your gallery uh, on the phone. So I selected one of the videos and then I click next. It will ask you to select the 
part of your video which you want to use as a cover image so you can just scroll left and right i will just select this part for example and then i will click next here we need to define the title description of the pin and then we'll select also the board which we want to save it so i'm, I'm gonna just um, type here uh, uh, seo optimized uh, seo optimized title for my pin so here you go we have now a title and a description that is a little longer than the title then we'll click next and it will ask us to save it to one of the boards i will find the most relevant board on my account that should be something about pinterest marketing let me just find it okay pinterest marketing tips and pinterest strategy so the pin is, has been created um, it's asking me now to just uh, promote the pin but i don't want to create a promoted pin right now here you go now i wanted to show you easy ways how you can save pins from your site uh, the simplest way i guess is just to use the save button on your site when you click on it um, it should suggest several pins. You can select the vertical pin that you created specifically for this purpose. And the next thing that happens, you just select the board. I'm gonna go with my blogging board. Once I select the board, click save. Let's see how the pin looks and you'll see that um, actually Pinterest started cutting off a little bit the pins. It doesn't look the same way in the regular user's feed. It just looks like this in this preview. But you will notice here that I never had to save the title and the description of the pin. It comes automatically as a rich pin from my website because I have uh, enabled rich pins and this happens very easily once you verify your site the next thing that happens you will see that your rich pins start working automatically bringing the titles and description as your descriptions from your site so for this method to work you obviously need to have some sharing social sharing buttons on your site i use a plugin called grow it's a plugin developed by mediavine company it's a paid plugin but it doesn't cost a lot and i i don't get paid for recommending it i only recommend it because i know that it has great settings for Pinterest sharing because for example you can see here this button in the middle of the pin also shows up because of this grow plugin and there are several other settings that um, grow plugin allows you specifically for Pinterest sharing and it helps you get more traffic from Pinterest you could also manually save your pin from the site just by uh, submitting your website URL or the page URL and it will also automatically find the pin you will add the pin but here the problem is that you'll have to manually add the title and description so the previous method was much easier and another way uh, if you're using Tailwind you will have this uh, Chrome extension that you can install um, on any Chrome or Mozilla or even on Safari you can have it once you're on your blog post you can just click on this Tailwind button select the correct pin that you want to save click go schedule and here you'll have an option to schedule this pin to three different boards and to select the intervals so i'm here in my profile you can select uh, a few boards um, you can have lists of boards i'll say here that i want to select to save this pin to three different boards about blogging on my profile um, it automatically brings the title and description also from your blog post you will want to you might want to check if the url is correct usually it is and then you can use interval because you are uploading it to basically three different boards i recommend you to keep it on seven days because that's what pinterest and tailwind recommend so the next thing i'll do i'll just um maybe i'll just check the timing i'll just um, do it a little bit later around 7 or 8 pm and then i will click set interval and the next thing i'll have to do is schedule now there's one more little button here add to communities this is only available for basically for tailwind users even on the on their free plan you will have access to about five communities so you can add your pins to small communities of bloggers or other website owners who are also using tailwind so people are just basically repinning each other's pins and this is just a way to reciprocate within the same niche and helps you show your pins especially for new accounts it makes sense because these other bloggers or these other website owners in your niche uh, they have relevant profiles and if they save something from your account it will help your pins get more eyeballs uh, which is important for a new account the next thing i need to do is just click on schedule now and my pins will go to my tailwind schedule 
So I personally prefer to use Tailwind Scheduler. You can start a free account with them using my link anastasiablogger.com slash Tailwind. And by the way, it also allows you to schedule on Instagram and on Facebook. You've done a great job and it wasn't difficult, right? Now you know how to create pins and I think you definitely should know more about Pinterest SEO. So check my next video up there and I'll see you there.